Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Matt. If you're clicking on this, you want to just see the settings to set up your stable diffusion automatic 1111 so that you can perform this magic where you take a low res 1K image, upscale it to 4K, but add all this excellent, amazing new detail. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to jump right into it. This is just going to be settings and settings and settings. Okay. First thing you want to do is load in your 1.5 stable diffusion model. We can't use SDXL right now. I'm using Epic Photogasm Z Universal. Make sure you're on the image to image tab and your prompts are really simple. They're photo, fine, detail, and real with no negative prompts. And I go into why that is again in further detail on, an, on a, the advanced video on my website. Drag your low res image into the image to image box and then you hit this measurement tool so that you get the width and height. Should be under 2K for this process. I'm using sampling method DPM++ 2M SDE Exponential. Sampling steps are 40. Default for just resize. CFG scales 4 and your denoising is 0.55 in this case. Uh, you want to experiment between values of 0.4 and 0.65. Okay, everything else there is the default. We scroll down, we're going to enable our control net and we're going to use tile and enable and also check pixel perfect. Come down here to the default, which is going to be the tile resampler. And you should have this model loaded within your control net directory. Everything else looks to be the default, except that I click control net is more important right here. All right. And then scrolling down, we're going to have our script loaded. Typically it's on none. You load the ultimate SD upscale script which is in the extensions. You can find that just by simply searching ultimate. Now the models, I have a collection of different models here in the videos. I'll, I'll leave a link in the YouTube, but additionally, I'll explain how I use these and what the reasons are. Um, I'm using Valor for this uh, example for the nature. If you haven't installed any of these, you can use the uh, 4X ultra sharp for now. And we're going to upscale to four. So change this value rate or this drop down box from scale to image and put it on four tile width 1024 mask blur 64 pixels and we're going to go to padding 128 the reason for that is to have an overlap so that we don't have so many noticeable seams this is going to move through our 1k image and scale it up to 4k and then take 1k blocks and process them and we need them to overlap so that we don't see defining um, grids Okay, that's it. And we just hit go up to the top and hit generate. And what you'll see here is as soon as this starts, before I pause it, you're going to see this process the top left corner. So you can imagine that's a 1K image of this box, and it's going to have one, two, three, four, and it's going to overlap them and then composite the entire image. While this is processing, I'll just take a moment to show you that I have a website where I'm typically, my regular day is an Archviz artist. And that's at halletvisual.com. And so I've been doing this since 2009. I'm really into the generative imagery and I've been trying to use it into the architecture visualization workflow since uh, over exactly a year now. I started last Christmas. And so I've been bringing this in, making tutorials, and I have a whole website now dedicated to uh, all the techniques that I've learned. And I'll show you how I do everything through a full set of lessons. And we do character development, we do texture creation, we have render elements, um, video, you name it. If it's not there, I'll cover it eventually. Just like I'm gonna go on and add a full, uh, probably a 15 minute video just on image enhancement and upscaling. So please consider checking me out there. All right, we're gonna take the one we just did and overlay it. You can see that we have, compared to the low res, we've definitely increased. It's done a really nice job on the moss. It certainly has a good job, done a good job on these trees. It added a whole bunch of pot lights, which my other model, my other rendering did not. And that's because of the upscaler. And again, I go into further detail why we use different upscalers and I'll leave a link to the models and all of the other things that you need to get started. But for now, this is what you want to do to start experimenting with upscale and enhancement. Enjoy.